for today's cup of coffee, we have a what the fuck file. And it truly is. I looked at this man and I'm like, the fuck's going on? Right, right. And this is by Chris Jewers, and this was December the 5th of 2022, and Daily Mail is the website. Link will be in the description box. This is incredible. (laughs) And we do have pictures, but on the website they also have a video. Uh Uh-huh. So it's very much worth going and looking this up. Okay. A man who ended up with a 150-year-old trident lance through his neck after a fight in India has miraculously survived, telling the doctors that it didn't hurt. It didn't hurt because the motherfucker was in shock. That's possible. Like, shit does not... You you do not physically feel pain when you are in shock. And Baskar Ram, who's 33, received the bizarre injury in a fight with two men at his workplace in India. And a graphic video and pictures show the one-and-a-half-foot weapon <laughs> stuck in his neck as he awaited treatment. He's just standing. He's just sitting there. Like, he has to take a shit. Like, that's, that's, that's his, sta- that's his like, posture. But it's, it's not because he has to shit. It's because he's got a fucking skewer. Yeah. Love it's like, me. get this out of me. Local reports said he was rushed to a nearby hospital in the early hours of November the 28th, but had to be transferred to another specialist hospital over 40 miles away. And we'll show you a picture of um, of this man. Trigger warning. Here. Yeah. yeah. Trigger warning. Trigger this warning. is graphic content. Where the fuck did he get a triton? You know, that's what I wondered. Where were they working that that was laying about? And you know, that's not a thing. Because that's not a thing that no, people just come across. No, you wouldn't think <laughs> so. And staff at the Kolkata NRS Medical College in West Bengal had to wake up specialist surgeon <laughs> Dr. Banerjee to remove the weapon at 3 a.m., but you know, if you, if you had to be awakened at that to do surgery, that would be something interesting at least. You you get the call and you go over there and you'd be like, oh, somebody, this somebody, is why. Somebody got scared. After an hour and a half long operation, the, somebody tri- was the trident was eventually removed from Mr. Ram's neck and he is said to have made a remarkable recovery. Local sources said he told the doctors that he was not any in any pain or discomfort. <laughs> You're in shock, dude. You got the fucking train through your neck. Oh, and the surgeon, Dr. Banerjee, an associate professor professor at the NRS Medical College, said, quote, There was no sign of blood or injury, which took me to surprise. Only traces of blood were found outside his mouth. A team of doctors uh, was formed, and we first conducted a supportive surgery by placing a tracheotomy tube in the airway for breathing and then started our surgery, end quote. Further footage showed the surgeons clad in green scrubs, carefully pulling the blood-covered trident out of the man's neck. And, yeah, the video. I did not watch the video. Mm -hmm. (laughs) I didn't feel like I needed to. I scrolled down, and I'm like... "Hmm." This is this is fucked up. How much fucked up is fucked up? This is fucked up. And Dr. Banerjee said, quote, None of the vital structures were injured as the rod had miraculously missed the vital organs. That's what I want to know. How the fuck? Yeah. Oh, my God, was watching his ass that day. Yeah. That included the carotid, internal jugular vein, the trachea, esophagus, larynx, vertebra, and the spinal cord. The patient has recovered well, and we are gradually removing the supporting tubes. The tracheotomy tube was removed, and the nasogastric tube will be removed once the MRI report arrives. You know after that trache- tracheotomy, he's going to be sounding like Roxanne afterwards. That's okay. Sounding like he smoked like 50 packs for That's like okay. 50, 15 years straight. <laughs> he, he will recover over that. 
It says, earlier this year, it was reported that an eight-year-old girl made a miracle recovery after an iron rod went through her jaw and out of her mouth when she tripped and fell at a building site. And we'll show you that picture here. Human shish kebabs. That's just crazy. Now, how? Who? Where were her parents? I don't know. Well, it wasn't so much that, but it it makes you wonder. Of course, it was a building site. Why was a kid messing around a building site That's why I'm to like, begin with? Where, where were her parents? Like, <clears throat> why was she unsupervised? And you know, I guess rebar may be laying about randomly on construction sites. But that was a hell of a thing, and it makes you wonder who found the kid, all that stuff. It doesn't tell that. And it says that the girl was cut free, so it must have been long enough to where they had to cut the rebar. It was installed something, I bet, <laughs> and she fell. And it just, could oh. be. And she was taken to the hospital where surgeons removed the pole oh. during a 35-minute uh, operation. Medics in India said it, that it miraculously missed vital nerves and blood vessels to the brain and that the little girl was talking within eight hours. Yeah. Now, I can understand God, like, you know, sparing her because she's just a kid. She doesn't know any better. But a grown-ass adult... <laughs> that was in a fight and got scared. Yeah. <laughs> Coffee slurp, you can talk. My like God, like, that's just... Do you remember the article about the kid who got the fork through his nose? Yeah. <laughs> you showed me that when I was yeah. You're like, this is... This is why you don't. You don't do this. <laughs> you did, don't yes. run with, You literally were like, don't run with forks. Don't run with forks. <laughs> don't run with scissors. None of that stuff. Then this is the kicker. In August, it was reported that a man in India had a steel cup removed from his rectum after his friends put it there in a drunken prank. You know, that's not the first time I've heard of some... That's not That's not even human shish kebab. That's just stupidity. There was this dude... That back in the day, there was this thing called One, uh, one Man, One Jar. Oh, anyway, God. he sat on the jar. The jar broke in his ass. And so he's like shitting blood glass no chips. No kidding. Yeah. Anyhow, obviously you had to go to the hospital. Whole it was a whole ass thing. This is like I'm early, sure. like early two thousands YouTube, mm. like not YouTube. God, if this was on YouTube, that would have been banned <laughs> in a heartbeat. Especially back in the day. No early internet. Yeah, but we will show you oh. a picture of the X ray because that's the only thing you would be able to show, and we'll show that here. Yeah, that's rather impressive, isn't it? Shoving shit up your ass. And it says that the 45-year-old had the substantially sized object, which it is, removed through surgery at a local hospital. Well, hell, that's the only way that you would be able to get that a... out. And it makes you wonder uh, exactly what did they do to get that out. Because the ass, it sucks shit up into it. Well, yeah, you've got peristalsis that does this. And this was a steel cup. I mean, they were drunk. There was no thought into this. This was just like, hey, hey, let's do this, see what now, happens. Now, let's face it. That's a substantially sized object. You can do anything while drunk. I mean, that's just insane. Absolutely insane. And his friends. I hope they were good friends. I hope they were too, but, the, with but friends even then, like I'm it. like, why would y'all do that to me? <laughs> with friends like that, who needs enemies? For real. They're your enemies. <laughs> Frenemies. And it's just like when I was in nursing, because we would hear weird stuff. And, and the tale about the gerbilitis. 
Does it make you cringe? Should I not talk about the gerbilitis? No, because there's a fucking, there's a Slim Shady song that literally is talking, like, him shoving a gerbil up his yeah. ass. Yeah, that was a thing back there in the 80s. I don't know who, why. Who thought that was a good idea? I don't know, who but did that was a that's, local. That's fucked up. First of all, that's animal cruelty. Well, yeah, it, it truly is. But there was a, um, at one of the regional uh, TV stations news stations yeah and that there was a gentleman that it was it was reported that he had been involved with this and that they they you know the station got rid of him suddenly because that is not the type of thing that anybody that's on tv wants to have that no you know no it's a good thing that the internet was not a thing back then but yes, it, so it was a matter of inserting the tube and allowing the animal to crawl up in there and then having a t- string around it and then retrieving the body later, only that the animal had chewed through his colon. Yes, because that's what they do. Because yeah. if they're panicked well, and yeah. they're trapped, they're going to find a way out. They are burrowers. Yeah. And you know what? Anybody that would do something like you that deserves like, that. Yes, absolutely they do. <laughs> but in nursing, that was just a hoot. Of course, you have a very dark, <laughs> you develop a dark sense of humor when you're in any of those type of professions. Yes, you really do. It takes a special kind of person to do that. So that was one of the things that I was glad that I never had to encounter something like that. Or anybody being impaled. You know, the gun loving the poor little old man that had fallen out of the tree. That was that was the worst one that I as far as injury type thing. Yeah. The guy that had eaten a he would take like a bottle of aspirin a week. He wasn't my patient. I just heard them discussing it as I was going through and it had eaten a hole into his aorta. No oh, shit, this is why you don't overuse products. Well, more than likely, this is somebody that had a mental health thing, or he wouldn't have been taking a bottle of aspirin a week. So. I got I got migraines, and I get them quite frequently. I get headaches in general, frequently. Right. I don't consume that much aspirin. Right. I don't... I, but I, you also have people to help you and to monitor you. <laughs> Yes, but, but even then, know. it's like you read the fucking instructions. Hmm, let's see. Okay, take this much. Aspirin. Take this amount. Right. This is, like, bruh. Right. Four, to, four to six hours is usually on aspirins. Yeah. I am not a doctor. Check with your trained professional, whatever. It's got the right letters behind their name. But aspirin causes gastric upset anyhow. Yes. That was the reason I was a fan of buffering, because that's what it did. It buffered. But apparently, I mean, it ate through his stomach and stuff into the aorta. So there had to be a mental health something. So he died? No, he didn't die. He had had to have some kind of cardiac, you know, vascular surgery, of course. It, he could have bled out from the aorta. Did I mean, anyone ask him why he took a bottle of aspirin? I'm sure probably somebody did. Anyhow, any final thoughts? <laughs> Human shish kebabs and the one that just had a cup oh, up his ass. My God, a steel cup, steel cup. Those things aren't flexible either. No, it was a steel cup. So that was it. Definitely. Did y'all use? Did the they fuck use fall. lube to get it up there? I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. I don't want to think about it. I, this is the questions I ask. Like, how the fuck <laughs> yeah. did you do that? And why did you do that? Yeah. I want to know the complete mindset. I, I don't. I, I just, like, I know they were mm-hmm. drunk and you do stupid shit when people... That's beyond stupid. That is beyond that stupid. Is be- this is what happens when stupid people get drunk. Mm-hmm. They become even more stupid. Mm-hmm. It is. It is. So... If you like, at least when they're sober, they can pretty much act semi act. Yeah, but then smart. when they're sober, that's when, that's just it. They're when done. they oh, they're, what they're the hell did true, I do? True idiot. <laughs> true. They. What's what's the primal idiot? Yeah. Emerges. Yeah. <laughs> like it's just the idiot instinct in them. It's crazy. I I seriously so. think some people are put on this earth just to be the idiots of the world. That very well could be. 
They're very well kidnapped. Because, like, th- there's nothing else. Like, no. they're, that's just, they're dumb. Yeah. And that's natural selection. We need to let it take its course. If you've had experiences <laughs> with the paranormal, supernatural, encounters with UFOs, aliens, cryptids, now, stupid human tricks. Now, the child, I have a little bit more empathy Well, yeah, towards. I was a kid. Yeah, because, like, kids, they, they get, they do, <clears throat> you know, because they don't know any better. They're kids. Yeah. Like, that's understandable. Yeah. But the other one... We don't the fight. other two... D- <laughs> don't get... Spe- spear in the neck. ...around, you know, artifacts. Don't do not do that. This is why you just don't fight. <laughs> so, email us, cup of coffee is scream at gmail.com. That's also going to be in the description box. We have Pain is a great teacher. That should teach you. Like, hmm, we have stupid. faith that those who take the time to listen to us are not stupid people. None of them are. If they were stupid people, they, they wouldn't would not, be here. No. No, the ones that are stupid don't don't hang around our channel for long. <laughs> they really don't. And that's okay. Natural selection. Natural selection, indeed. So... Oh, the stupid... It burns. Yeah, it, it does burn. It hurts. It does burn. That just... Yeah. Are you going to do your spiel here? Are you still pondering? I'm still pondering the metal <laughs> cup up that. I don't want to ponder it no more. Because, <laughs> like, uh, there is literally people taking furniture up their asses. Who does that? Does that does not surprise me. Oh, good God. Anyhow. <laughs> Anyhow. <laughs> like... You think of it, and people have done it. Yeah. That's why I try not to think about it. (laughs) If you like this video, don't forget to like, share, comment, and most of all, subscribe and click that notification button for daily notifications of our daily uploads. Don't Don't be a stupid. Do not do stupid human (laughs) tricks. Don't shove a metal. Don't get drunk and shove a metal. Don't surround yourself with people. Who would do that to like someone said, drunk? It, if, with friends like that, no one needs enemies. They truly don't. No one. I no just one. don't even want to think about that. Know that you're loved. Know that we have faith. We believe don't, in you. We believe in you. Don't get in a fight and, and spear, <sighs> spear people. I know there are people that, we, that everybody has wanted to throw a spear at. Yeah, but don't do it. Don't do it. There's repercussions for that. Usually. Usually. <laughs> Anyhow. Unless it's undocumented. Well, yeah. So we'll see you on the next Have a good. Bye. Bye.